The Indian Air Force has given clearance to the Defence Research and Development Organisation and the Bharat Dynamics Limited to produce 200 Astra air-to-air -air missiles for its Su-30 MKI and Tejas fighter aircraft. The clearance was given to the DRDO and public sector from BDL during a visit by Indian Air Force Deputy Chief Air Marshal Ashutosh Dixit to Hyderabad. While DRDO is the development agency for the project, BDL is the production agency. The program was cleared by the Defence Acquisition Council for the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy, under which 248 missiles were expected to be produced for both services in the year 2022-23. The focus of BDL is always on Make in India with maximum indigenous content. BDL is in receipt of several leads from friendly foreign countries for the Astra weapon system. These series of air-to-air -air missiles are part of the Astra program which aims to enhance the aerial combat capabilities of the Indian Armed Forces. The Astra Mark I missile, a predecessor to the Mark II, has already been successfully inducted into both the Indian Air Force and the Navy. Senior defense officials said that work is currently underway on the Astra Mark II missiles and the first test of this 130km strike range missile is scheduled to take place in the upcoming months. Hello and welcome to News Affairs. Before we proceed further, we request our viewers to please subscribe this channel if you have not yet subscribed. If you find the video informative, please like and share the video. DRDO is focusing on developing a special motor to extend the missile's range. The existing Astra Mark I missile has a range of up to 100 km with the potential for further extension. The journey towards developing an indigenous air-to-air -air missile system began in the year 2001 when the DRDO initiated discussions with various stakeholders. The aim was to design and develop a missile system capable of engaging adversary targets beyond visual range. Hyderabad's Defence Research and Development Laboratory was subsequently identified as the nodal lab for this project. A dedicated task force was formed to undertake preliminary studies and drive the project forward. Astra weapon system is best in its class of weapon systems in the world in the category of air-to-air -air missiles. As stated earlier, the Astra missile exhibits a range of 80 to 100 kilometers, allowing it to engage targets beyond the pilot's visual line of sight, granting it true BVR capabilities. With the ability to operate at altitudes of up to 20 kilometers, the Astra system ensures comprehensive coverage across various scenarios. The missile is around 3840 mm long and has a diameter of 178 mm, underlining its sleek aerodynamic design and maneuvering capabilities. With a flight duration of 100 to 120 seconds, the Astra missile quickly and efficiently reaches its target and neutralizes it, proven by the numerous user and validation trials by DRDO on various platforms including the Tejas. Armed with a high explosive prefragmented warhead, the Astra system packs a punch against its intended targets. Capable of reaching speeds of Mark 4.5, the Astra missile ensures rapid response, interception and interdiction capabilities. The missile is powered by a solid rocket motor, contributing to its agility and versatility. Employing a radar proximity fuse, the Astra system optimizes its precision in target engagement. Featuring inertial guidance, mid-course updates and terminal active radar homing at 13 km, the missile has a sophisticated guidance system. Currently, the Astra missile is integrated with the Su-30 MKI. However, these missiles will be integrated on both the Russian origin Su-30 as well as the indigenous LCA Tejas fighter aircraft after production. DRDO is also developing the vertical launch short-range surface-to-air missile, which is the air defense version of the system, and it comes with fiber optic, gyroscope-based inertial guidance during mid-course and active radar homing in the terminal phase. Featuring both lock-on before launch and lock-on after launch capability, it receives mid-course updates through data link. Designed to replace the Barak-1 system on Indian Navy warships, it also is slated to serve as a short-range air defense system for the Indian Air Force. We would leave you with this topic at this point. Thanks for watching. Jai Hind!